Hey everybody, this is Laddie the Outcast. Welcome back to Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. In the last episode, we defeated the boss of the first dungeon, the uh, giant spider mech Halloween. So now we're going to be heading out through this door. And we did get the scoop in the last episode. So we're all good there. Channel exit. dungeon floor because it's, well, it's special. No other dungeons have anything like this. But anyway, you just want to walk right around here. That was the first time I had seen it. The sky that reached so far away, so far above, the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. But I was yet to realize that great changes were happening in the world. saving right here before you climb up that ladder. Alright, now that we're saved, let's go up here and see what the problem is. I knew it sounded like gunfire. something 
fast. We're in serious trouble. Time to fight back, son. What do you mean we're going to be in serious trouble? We're the only ones on the train, and we're all in the front. He's shooting at the passenger cars where there's nobody. How can this possibly put us in any danger? Oh, well. Sounds like a good idea, but how? Here, use this. I like how it says bomb on it. So I throw this? Gee, I don't know. What do you think? Yep. You toss it, and I'll grab another one. Just keep tossing them. I'm not so sure if this... Armed ATV P3000. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and explain this right now while this thing's here because it's still giving us the picking up and throwing tutorial. Um, you only need to hit uh, Flotsam with three bombs to make this to work, but you have to do it exactly right, otherwise you'll miss. And you have to be really spot on with your aim because if you throw it, even, if you throw it way off and the bomb lands on the train, you'll actually damage the train. So you really need to be careful how you throw it. And you can only hit Flotsam once per pass. So you're, there's no way to do this without taking damage. Foss. Got him. Right, we'll wait for him to go the other way. Direct hit. That way. Come on. Aw. Oh, I was so hoping for a perfect go at that. Aw, oh, what? Okay, I really need to get working on my aim. <laughs> I don't want to lose this on camera. This is really easy. That got him. Here comes my favorite cutscene in the entire game. back on. This, this doesn't look good, Max. He's gonna blow himself up along with this whole train. What? Love <laughs> another one of those bombs at me. Come on now. Do it. Oh, no. Hey, mister. Here's why this is my favorite cutscene. Don't you ever give up. You're starting to look pretty pathetic. What's this? Another little brat? Oh, I see. So you want to die too? Sure, why not? Let's go, punk. It's time to burn. What's this? It's crazy, but this was 
only the beginning of our unbelievable adventure. The real surprises were still ahead of us. If we could restore the Great Elder's origin point, he could tell us who Griffin really is. The origin point? Yes, an origin point is where something begins. This says we can now use the train to move around places. Right now all we have is this place in Palm Brinks, but I'm actually going to go back to Palm Brinks because Monica's weapons are tier one when she joins you. I think technically in the game's code they're listed as tier two, but they have just about as much strength as a tier one weapon, so I'm going to head back to Palm Brinks, go to the underground water channel, and get her chapter one upgrades since she technically wasn't around to get one. So I'm going to do that between episodes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Light of the Outcast, and I'll see you guys later.